Yo, what it is, YouTube? It's your boy DC coming back with another bullseye of a tutorial here today on the channel. I'm gonna show y'all how to mix those pro mainstream R&B type vocals that sound like they on the radio type situation. So if y'all like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. You want to support the channel, book a mix, or you know, go cop a preset. We still gonna get these jams out for free. So let's get to it right now. God, it sounded really good and really dope. And let's hear what we had started out with originally from the before, which is the reference track. So you hear like the original mix, it kind of really sounded lackluster. You feel me? So with this um, specific type of female vocal that we're working right here, I was the most important thing for me was to make it feel like shiny and full at the same time, kind of like a diamond or a ruby. I wanted to feel like a real gem, even though, you, you know, a diamond is kind of like shiny. Sometimes, you know, depending on the shape of the diamond, it could be really thick and dense. You feel me? That's why there's like different grades and different types of diamonds. So that's what I was just thinking about a diamond, you feel me? That's like the object that I put in my head as I was mixing this thing. And of course I wanted to make it dense at the same time. So let's see what it sounds like uh, with the, the plug-in chain. So first of all, this vocal I'm working right here, it's, a, it's like it was already leveled for me. It was already leveled, right? It's a vocal that has the lead vocals, uh, like a background vocal over it, a supporting vocal over it. And I do have the originals, the, I do have the original, you know, individual tracks. But sometimes, you know, when you get a mix from somebody and they give you the balance a certain way, you just keep it how it is. Just keep it how it is because they already like that blend. They already kind of like that flavor. They already like they already got their coffee a certain way. OK, half cream sugar. OK, uh, you know, a half or whatever latte type shit. You feel me? So they already have a preference. You feel me? So that's the thing about it. It's re it's hard to make up somebody's preference for them. You know what I mean? You can't tell somebody, oh, well, you should like spicy food because that's their preference type shit. So they already had their way that they wanted to have the balance of the vocals. So first thing I used is the limiter, right? And because I'm using the limiter and I'm just ever so slightly squeezing the vocal, it's bringing more juice out of it. Kind of like a lemon. When you squeeze a lemon to make lemonade or orange juice, because you're squeezing the lemon, now you're getting the juice out of it. So I'm trying to get the juice out of the vocal. I use the limiter. limiter kind of squishes it a little bit and it makes it more solid after that i use the toupee this is a tape saturator this is a very common thing that i had here like a couple of tape plugins and saturation because like how i said before i even touched the vocal i knew i wanted to make it thick and have some girth onto it you know some whale some whale blubber some fat pretty much you know what i mean so i use the toupee and uh yeah i just drove it a little bit and a parallel blend And 
and of course you got to be super subtle super delicate like when you you know washing your clothes in the laundry and there's one setting on that washer that motherfucker says delicate you feel me this is for the delicate clothes you feel me type shit like that the fragile stuff so the, i already know the vocal's kind of fragile so i'm not trying to be too heavy handed you know like a dandelion i'm trying to preserve the beauty in the vocal so i'm being very very delicate with it especially because it has the background vocals and all that stuff into it right inside the same pot of soup that's why i'm only doing light work and after that i wrote off a little bit of bottom because we don't need all of this 80 hertz and all that stuff like that it was kind of taking away clarity and uh yeah this was taking away clarity too this little resonance it was stacking up So it's a counter move, right? I already understand that the, 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 this plugin, which is adding tube and tape sauce, salsa, you feel me, to the pot, I kind of got to like counterbalance it with a different seasoning, right? Or taking out a certain ingredient. So that's why I did this little notch cut right here. You feel me? Because I already know I'm piling up on my mid range. I'm piling up on my low mid right now. So I just cut it out a little bit. You feel me? I don't want it to become too hazy and foggy, right? So I, then I use the precision de -esser. I like this because this is a mastering. You see what it says right there? Um, it's like a mastering grade de -esser. So it's a high quality de -esser. And we're just doing like a notch frequency, uh, you know, somewhere around 6K. So you hear when the lead vocal is playing by itself, the DSR never activates. But when all the vocals are stacked on together, that's when it activates. So that's just coming down to messing around with the threshold, making sure your threshold is not too low. You feel me? Putting that cookie on top of the jar so that it's a lot of effort for all them three kids, which is all the vocals together to get to the top and actually trigger the DSR. You feel me? So then I use the uh, Pultec EQP1A. This is another tube, right? Another tube, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know plug in so i just understand like like the tube is gonna bring me that fluff that fluffiness that plush pillow to the vocal you feel me so i already i already understand that and i'm already adding body to the vocal just default this plugin is gonna add body by itself but then yeah for sure like boosting 30 hertz which is a really weird frequency to boost but it sounded good you know what i mean it sounded good so um that's the only thing that matters to be honest if it tastes good shit cook it up you do it so good You give it so hard Wish you could You don't know why I be Sneaking around You don't know why You best pay a minute top ten And I ain't coming So just in general, all that tube saturation is bringing the vocal forward. Um, so yeah, the lead vocal, we had a basic ad de -esser. We all know what the de do, right? You do it so good. You give it so Yep, and then after that we have the um, CLA 2A. I think this is a great selection for a, 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 a vocal like this. Because at this point we would have already put so much fat on the belly. Now we're trying to move a little bit of the weight a little bit up top to the cheekbones. So I understand that the LA-2A, it thickens up more like the high mid because it has the optical component in it, right, which is light. And it, ha it also has another tube in it too, but this tube gives a different type of flavor to the, um, you know, the soup that we're cooking up, the drink, the margarita that we spicing up right now, the Bloody Mary that we spicing up right now.
You feel me? So, uh, yeah, that's why this is like important to know what's underneath the hood of all the plugins rather than just blindly putting on whatever and hoping. Fingers crossed, hoping it sounds good like now. So yeah, this is a trick I like to do. I just used it for my like dirty volume. If you on your program that you're recording with and you just push it this like this normal volume, yeah, it makes it louder, but it doesn't give you more flavor. It doesn't give you more taste. You know, it doesn't make your taste buds you want a little bit more. You feel me? So uh, most important thing is after that, we use the SSLE and this is really clean. I love this a lot. Boosting that mid range and that high end. First thing I'm doing is I'm shelving off all this lows. Then I took that energy and I shifted it upwards. So I'm really just packing my mid range right now, boost the top end, boost it upper mid, and do a little bit of compression. And it sounds super clean. After that, I use fresh air. We all know what this does. Doing it's doing like the main heavy lifting of the brightness. At that, at that point, like that toupee and, you know, that toupee, the de -er, all that stuff like that, my vocal's kind of like really neutral, so it's okay if I kind of go crazy with the brightness. It does not sound harsh. And I use the C4 pop vocal preset to excite the vocal. So in combination with the C4, I know the C4 is cutting out my mid-range. You hear it? it makes it sound very clean. And then the Arvox is bringing back that same mid that I just cut out. All right, we already know what the Arvox do. We don't We don't need to hear it, all right? So I've, I've, this is very important right here. This is de-harshing my vocal and also adding some body via J37 tape, all right? So let's, let's look at that. So yeah, that warmth is kind of like, it really brings in that warmth because it has that mid-range bump. And of course, every time I just like to roll off a little bit of how much it ever it is, I just keep pulling up the um, the low filter, which is the high pass. Like I just do it until it comes back to that neutral state. Because of course, when you throw in the tape, it's gonna it might set, make it sound a little bit mucky. You feel me? Because it just boosted up the mid-range. So that's why you want to do a little cut with this little filter right here until it sounds nice and good. You feel me? NLS bus and I use the mic mode. The mic is adding more saturation. Mm -hmm. It's it's kind of like when you put more feathers into a pillow. Now I kind of got more plump. So that's what the mic is doing. You know, by bringing a little bit of that saturation in there.
And then last thing we have right here is the CLA 76. All buttons in mode. That changes the saturation circuit. Just pretty, pretty much dumping more seasoning onto the Thanksgiving chicken. And I just parallel blend it like only 4%. Yeah, so I just love to use this plugin right here specifically because I know those transistors are like, that's why my vocal sounds like so crystally and so like shimmery and stuff like that. Because like I know this plugin got a certain part in it that's just going to make it feel a little bit more frizzy. You feel me? A little bit more split ends type shit. So yeah, my, my light died on me, unfortunately. But yeah, this is pretty much the end of the video here today. I just want to say thanks a lot for being a great part of my YouTube family. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you like this video down below, let me know. Appreciate y'all on YouTube. Don't forget to book a mix or, you know, you know, cop a preset or something like that to support the channel. Appreciate y'all now. Peace.